we made the drone clash. Now this is a bit of a fun travel. Huge thanks to Drone Clash for having us out. We also got a little bit of sponsorship to help with some of the traveling fees. So huge thanks to Viking for making this possible. Are you human? Are you tired of your Instagram and Facebook posts, political arguments, and pictures of your friends' children that you don't really want to see? Let's take a break from that and try Vikings War of Clans. Vikings War of Clans was inspired by some of the famous strategy games you know and love. One of the cool things about Vikings is I can just pull out my cell phone for a minute or two, get some things done, and then go back to doing whatever I was doing instead of spending hours on it. Vikings always changing with over 20 million online players, fighting over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. Help support my channel by checking out the link in the description and downloading Vikings for free. If you check out the link in the description, you can get the 200 gold coins and a protective shield, which will be extremely useful from the start. Don't forget to look me up and join my clan name. What was the clan name, Sam? Murica Crusaders. Check that out in the description. We've got to travel to Caswick in the yes. Netherlands. So yeah, let's get back to that. Really talk about you know our team or our defense strategy, but we have Stinger Swarm here. Hey. Try his stuff. We got Clay. You've already seen Clay, yeah. He already smashed my microwave. And we have, we have Tommy. He's got his stuff. He'll show you uh, his quad in a second. We got Sam. He made, we actually scraped this together too. We have a secondary kind of like queen mock-up, so that'll be cool. We got that going on. So what I have brought today is just an arsenal of stingies. Look at this. I have like three stingies over here. This is an acrylic plate uh, prop guards for a stingy because I, I didn't have time to build up anything special, but this is enough to get me a little bit protected so that I can get in there for that kill shot. Yeah, plus we got four of those, so like, yeah, I exactly. hope we can do it four. I'm just gonna go full send. Just send it, send it, send it. Well, I got this race drone, basically. This is a race drone right over here that I built this super over complicated roll cage so that I could wrap a Faraday cage around it. So this is pretty tough, it'll be pretty good. So if you guys want to see this, make sure you check out their channels. I think we got some prep work to do because these teams are looking pretty competitive. I don't know how we're actually gonna do. We've now rearranged the lighting. Red is on my right here. Team Blue is on the left. We're gonna cut shortly to a three, two, one. When you hear that, both teams start. on the top of it, so if they do grab me, they just grab the screen and take it off. So I can still fly away. So the eagle will shed its protective screen. Let's go, let's go, two minutes! All right, you're gonna go behind me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you can tuck it in as best you can. It's a bit of a challenge, this one. This one's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Is it? Yeah. yeah. If I think we're gonna like kind of lose, let's just put on a show. What's your biggest win? Let's not stay out in front of a lot of side guys. You guys can do it?
Wow, we've got an attacker already making it through the alley of doom, death and destruction. One of America's pilots now, line of sight. Facing off like two lightweight boxers in Vegas. One of America's drones is down. It's the Queen. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Can she get up? Ten. That's it. It's over. It's over. They came across the Atlantic. Superstars of dronery, exceptional pilots, brilliant designers, but it wasn't enough. No, <laughs> look. What happened happened, look, look, the hooks grabbed onto it and it totally locked into it. So that worked really well. It's so in there. We put like duct tape or something. Stuck. <laughs> That's pretty good idea. So it would not flip over, and finally got to flip over, but it would arm. So I just kept flicking switches, it eventually armed, but by the time it armed, it took back off, the countdown was already over, so. All right, so what happened is we did lose the chance to win the $30,000 grand prize, which I'm so sad about because now these guys get to starve. But anyways, we're still competing for third place, so we're up against the team with the flat drones with spears on them. So I think we have a semi-decent shot of winning, but we'll see, so it's a crapshoot now. But damn, I wanted to win that 30K. Right, Sam? America! We'll win. So I found this weapon on the ground and I just stuck it in my drone and hopefully I'll spear someone. the coil deal serious damage if you get too close we've now got two attackers directing those prongs with sharp pointed edges with precision in that case against one of the pizza boxes from team America I'm gonna guess that it's the Queen the Queen unprotected at the moment oh no there we go that was a great defensive move from the Queen's defender. A great move. At the moment, it's a battle of Queens. I'm just trying to check if there are any offensive or defensive drones still flying. Yes, the Queen's defender, the one with the spike on it, has just planted its spike into the props. Oh, beautiful. The Queen's defender just did a decisive front somersault landing on top of Speed Drone's attacking drone, which is now pinned wrestle style on the floor. America is able to go into a steady hover and try and conserve battery power. We've got a queen platform, a palace, as we've come to call it in the last few hours, and a separate queen drone. So there is a kind of ejector seat scenario that we could see. It's now down to the wire. Ah, oh, my battery. I think what we've got is a situation where America have a hunter drone that's still flying, but the FPV connection to it is not working. So it's all done, line of sight now. The, the Team America pilot is literally looking through a gap in the floor to try and get his attack drone into the blue zone and I think he's done it he's done it and we're at a situation where the Queen's Palace I'm guessing has run out of power so the Queen is now all on her own that small drone is the second stage of the Queen Assembly for team speed drones and it's being chased through every single corner of this blue cage it doesn't get much better than this. This is what you came for, folks. Just two expert pilots with their own bespoke designs. Who would have thought months ago in their laboratories and workshops that it would all come down to this? 
for the much coveted third place or the bronze medal of Drone Clash 2019. Just one mistake and one of these teams will suffer the indignity of fourth place. Oh, that was a close attack. Oh, it's looking so close. Oh my God. The action is intense here in the blue arena. The Queen from Team America is down. The battery is out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Team America are out. No. Victory in fourth place. It's just water, I'm just kidding. So that did not go the way I expected it to. This drone ended up costing us $38,000 USD in possible winnings. But unfortunately, it, yeah, it didn't really work out, but we had tons of fun. <laughs> drone Clash 2019 was a super hit. It was awesome seeing the set of this venue. The venue was completely amazing. It was the amount of production work they put into this thing. It was really huge. Like, I was really impressed because we weren't really sure what we were gonna see when we got there. And we were kind of blown away. So out of nine teams, we placed number four. So I'm still salty about that, but hey, I mean, it was a good game, and the other teams put up a very, very fair fight. Especially the German teams with their hooks when they hooked me, and I just could not get up back off the ground. I tried turning back over, but at the last second I got it, but by the time they counted down to 10, which was 10 seconds and you're out, I took off again, but I was still hooked, so I still crashed, so technically it wouldn't even have mattered. And the second time we faced the other team, but either way, it ended up being a battery competition, because uh, what they had, they had, they had a drone on drone, so they had drone on drone action, and basically, they would fly their parent drone like this until the battery died, and then they would take up with a smaller drone. So that happened. Their, their big drone crashed and you know ran out of battery, and then finally they were flying the tiny drone. And Tommy and Kevin, they did an amazing job making that guy use up all of his batteries because right after my drone landed, a few seconds later, their little queen drone landed too. Super thanks to Drone Clash for having us out. They also took us to the Delft University, and my god, they have some amazing stuff. We even saw some crazy or ornithopter things, which I know you guys want me to build, which we will be building. They also had a full motion flight simulator, tons of aircraft stuff. They even designed some of the innovations for Airbus, I believe, and tons of other stuff. So if you want to check them out, make sure you subscribe to Drone Clash, because they want to do this again, so they need your guys' help. So if you guys can promote them as much as possible, they're even thinking about bringing it to the US, so we'll see about that in the future. So definitely check them out, subscribe to their channel. Let me know what you think about this thing. I have some really, really cool ideas for next year because this is, this is not quite what I wanted to do, but this is what I could fit in my luggage at the last moment. Uh, mainly, my next drone, I want it to be 50 pounds and be really big and have 30-inch rotors. Don't forget to check out Vikings War of Clans so they make sure we can eat. That's it. See you guys later. Absolutely spectacular. That was amazing.